Will. Yes, Bob. You're the worst. No, Bob. These are the worst. That was good. And we need to have we need to have right on the spot. We need to have more corny intros. It helps with like with the break. All right, so we're talking about the worst things. The worst things. You you want you want uh I just movies, in general, comics. Movie, comics, games, TV shows, whatever. Whatever you Okay. Whatever piece of media that we've experienced in our life that we just think this is the worst piece of shit I've ever encountered. So you brought this up. So I, I have a feeling you have something in um, mind. Um Gotta get my tea. I have a couple of things in mind. I was just because I was reading something about like the worst Captain America comic, and it was, of course, the Rob Liefeld era Captain right. America. Okay. I didn't read that run, so I can't attest to it. But it got me thinking of like some things that I consider, you know, the worst. I can tell you right now when I think of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life, two spring to mind. One is Van Helsing. Okay. The, I've, I've never seen that. I, it was, I think, 2003 movie Van Helsing starred Hugh Jackman as Abraham Van Helsing, the famed vampire hunter who takes on Dracula. That it was so bad, so mind-numbingly awful. <laughs> I have never walked out of a theater, but I came so close. That is the closest I've ever come to. I try really hard not to see or like not to spend my time with bad things because I know usually I I watch reviews or something. Right. Well, the thing is, like this looked, this looked like a Castlevania game. Yeah. Like the trailer made it look like Castlevania come to life. Right. And I and I sat there and I watched the whole thing and I was just so mad at myself because <laughs> nothing made sense. Everything was over the top and corny and just hodgepodge together of just every single cliche possible and i'm sitting there watching this going man between this and catwoman x-men 3 better be the best movie in the world and it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> so that's yeah so van helsing is just very very disappointing oh it's coming to me what's uh it's this movie where this really famous actress plays a woman who is going into a design agency. Oh. No, 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 no. Not a design agency. She's, it might be Sandra Bullock. And she's going, she's trying to be a showrunner or a producer or something. It's like an early 2000s movie. Or mid 2000s. Sounds like a Sandra Bullock movie. And it would, like, I watched it because at the time, I, I think I was sick. Uh -huh. And it was on TV. And I was like, oh, I've heard of this movie. This is the movie where she's trying to be a showrunner. And I was taking a class about being, uh, like, how to be a cartoon yeah. producer. So I was like, oh, this is, like, perfect. This is everything that I need. It was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Oh, well, it's a good thing I have our parents' iPad so I can look this up. It wasn't Sandra Bullock. All right, name the actress. And who's the girl who's in the Capital One commercials now? Jennifer Gardner. I think it was her. Okay. I'll look that up while I'm talking and about the And someone, some... Oh, oh, what's his name? Um, Harrison Ford was in it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. The movie sucked. Harrison Ford was great, though, because he played himself a huge ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm looking that up. Morning Glory. Morning Glory. That's what it is. What a bad movie. And I think it was... Did it Ra get rated bad? Rachel McAdams. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's... Who the hell is Rachel McAdams? She was um, Mean Girls, the main Mean Girl. I don't do movies. <laughs> the other movie, um, I watched a lot of like indie films, especially in college, and you know, in my profession. Um, and one movie I stumbled across is a film called Dropbox. Yeah, no, none of Love you love Dropbox. Of yeah, the application is great. <laughs> Dropbox is a According to the Wikipedia page, no, the IMDb page, uh, Dropbox is a comedy about a spoiled pop princess who accidentally returns her sex tape to a local video store, then must try to, ex and then must try everything to get it back from an uncooperative clerk, fearing, fearing that if she fails, her next big hit won't be a musical. I feel like it wouldn't be hard to get your tape back. <laughs> it it was so 
it, it like I never knew there were people who tried to be Kevin Smith so hard. Oh, that's what this is. This this is such a blatant attempt to try and be Clerks. Twenty years after Clerks came out, and you saw this in school. I I saw it in school or like not like for class, like oh, you know, okay. in like you know, I hung out with indie film people. It's like yeah, just pass around movies and stuff, and that was one of them. It's so so atrocious, so unfunny. Everybody in that movie is unlikable. Everybody in that movie, I hope, never works again. It's just, like... I understand bad movies get made, but why this one? I don't, I don't know what to tell you. What. Yeah, I'm, and I know I'm, like, one of five people who have seen it, so... I know, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst comic book I've ever read. Oh, yeah? Brian Azzarello's Spaceman. Oh, that was the worst comic because it was—it was like everybody was like, "Whoa, this comic's so good! It's amazing!" Yeah, it takes place in like the future, and everybody speaks in slang, and mm -hmm. the slang is like mushed together words and these acronyms that you're supposed to just figure out, and it doesn't make any sense. And the first issue didn't go anywhere. Yeah, it, Brian so. Azzarello is so weird. His track record, like. His Batman run with the same artist, Eduardo Rizzo, Broken City, is one of the worst Batman comics I've ever read. It's not the worst. I'll get to that. The same, the same artist? The same him? artist, yeah. Did, do people like that team? Yeah. Because he, that, that, he was Here, also a terrible artist. Yeah. Well, they, they were on 100 Bullets, which everybody loves. And Brian Azzarello also wrote Superman for Tomorrow, which also is not good. But he wrote... Wonder the new Fifty Two Wonder Woman with Cliff Chang, and that's amazing. Cliff Chang's awesome. Like, I don't know what happened. I like, and it's not just Appa me. Apparently, Brian Azzarello has some really good stuff. Yeah, he does, but he can't do superheroes for some reason or spaceman. <laughs> they did Wonder Woman. Yeah, so I don't know what there was that. You. The worst Batman story I have ever read. It is not Batman and Robin. It is All Star Batman and Robin: The Boy Wonder by Frank Miller and Jim Lee. Yeah. Yeah. You read that for a long time. I've read, I've read a good portion of that. I don't... I mean, it is hysterical. It is so funny. <laughs> but it is the farthest thing from Batman I have ever seen. Like, as as not looking forward... I'm not looking forward to Batman vs. Superman. There is no way in hell they could screw up Batman as badly as All-Star did. Really? Like, it's... Every single thing you think could go wrong does go wrong. Is that the comic where he... Uh... That's the comic where he calls Robin a retard and <laughs> screams, I'm the damn Batman, like a hundred times. He makes Dick Grayson eat rats. <laughs> he lights people on fire and then has sex with Black Canary in front of those people on fire. <laughs> is, is, that, is that the one where he, uh, like, Green Lantern has to go and talk to him because he's out of his mind? And yeah. The whole... The whole bag he is... paint, paints everything yellow. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just... See, was the point to make everybody hate Batman? The point was to... In I his own comic? I don't get, like... People don't get Frank Miller after a certain point. The theory is he started writing Sin City and then never stopped. Right. So... Yeah, by he, the, well, he went insane. Yeah, by the time he got to All-Star... Oh, was this after 9-11? Yes. That explains everything. Af, like, by the time he got to All-Star, Batman, and Robin... I guess the point of the book was to show that Batman is just better than everybody like he really is the alpha but it just makes him seem like a jerk yeah. and everybody else seems stupid like that they that was supposed to be like a 24 issue run it only got up to issue 10 and then just stopped they keep saying they're gonna bring it back but they never do thank god real quick batman dog tomorrow worst game that is a really bad game i don't know if i consider that the worst game really because you would consider that the worst game we, we only beat it because it was all we had. Yeah. <laughs> we played Superman 64. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, that was... That was bad. Yeah. I'm trying I, to... I, I, it's hard to think of a bad game because Be I don't get Because we're, we're much more careful yeah. about that because games are more expensive. And, you know, $60 is a lot. You want to make sure what you're getting is... Plus, two movies are more subjective. Like... One person, like what's bad to one person, might not be bad to another person. Games, right. on the other hand, games can be just totally broken. yeah. So you gotta look out for that.
I I I'm certainly disappointed in some games, but like oh uh, yeah, but I would never say it's like the worst. But Batman Dark Tomorrow Back is something to... that sticks out in my mind. Yeah, as one of the worst because we actually because I actually put down money for that game. Yeah, and so... you have to you have to. Uh, I was disappointed in Battlefield Hardline. Yeah. Because it was just like Batman yeah, Dark Tomorrow. Yeah, both games, you have to handcuff everybody. Yeah. And, and, like, and in who, Batman, if you don't handcuff them, they get up and then they beat you up again. Who thought that like that was a good so idea? Bad. You have to handcuff every single person. Oh, and then at the end, spoiler alert for Batman Dark Tomorrow, if you ever wanted to play it. Uh, at the end, you fight Ra- Raz-, Raz Al Ghul, Ra's Al Ghul, whatever the hell yeah. you want to say it. And uh, he, you beat him and he goes... Good job, Batman. Too bad I'm still going to blow up the world. Boop. Boom. And then the world blows yeah. up. And then it says game over. You have to find this computer and you have to destroy the computer. But they don't tell you where it is or how to destroy it. Or, or... that you even have to do that. Yeah. Because you're supposed to be the detective. Yeah. So, there's that. Is that it? Are you done? Because we're done. Uh, Yeah, I think we're done. We, we've highlighted some of the worst pieces of media we've ever come across. We've also played Sneak King, and you know we what? I wouldn't King. even consider that one of the worst games yeah. I've ever played. That was alright for a $3 game. Yeah. What, what, I'm pretty you, sure it was $3. Yeah, it was $3. Out. What do you want for your money? Yeah. So what are some of the worst things you've ever played or or experienced? Games, movies, comics, television shows, anything. We didn't say TV. We I don't really... I don't, we don't watch TV. Yeah, Forget it's, TV. Uh, there was a really bad cartoon of The Mummy. That I always highlighted being a really bad TV show, but what do you Teen expect? Titans Go. Teen Titans Go is pretty bad. I watched some of that on the plane. Some of it was okay. A lot of it was bad. I like the references. I don't like really anything else yeah. in that show. So anyway, leave it in the comments below. Add us on Twitter. Um, don't just say something like, Call of Duty, worst thing I've ever played. Yeah. Call of Duty is not a bad game. It's you not... don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> like, we mean like seriously like worst of the worst. We're talking like if you accidentally played... Oh, E.T. Yeah, or or, or, like, or like a Barbie game or something. Yeah. That, you know? Or, or uh, like Basically a licensed that. piece of garbage. Yeah. Or like if you have legitimate qualms with Final Fantasy thirteen or something. Not just that everybody's got stupid hair. I mean, it's got to be like a piece of garbage. Okay. Like a true, true piece of garbage. Like Final Fantasy All the Bravest. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all the social media garbage. Uh, we have Twitch. Uh, we have, public store yeah, now. we have a T Public Store. Uh, original content that? coming soon. Yes. Maybe by this video. Who knows? Yeah. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week. So you've started reading a comic book regularly and you've hit the end of your first story arc. What do you do now? Well, if the creative team stays the same and you like what they've done so far, keep going. By all means, keep going. Chances are, if you thought they did a good job, you're going to like what they do next. Card games are very much not my thing. I haven't even played a card game since the Pokemon card game. And I think making a card game into a video game card game sounds really stupid.